Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy and thank you for tuning in today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how you can go and audition for movies. That can be Netflix movies, maybe it's Disney Plus movies, maybe it's Amazon Prime movies, maybe it's Hulu movies, whatever it is. I'm gonna be telling you guys very simply and very easy. This doesn't have to be a 40, 60 minute long video. It's a very simple and easy video for all of you to understand. And I want it to be just that simple and easy. And I'm gonna be giving you guys all the points and things that you need, as well as some bonus things in the end to help you to give you some more resources for all of you. So let's make this video very simple here. It comes down to two things. If you want to be in a movie, it comes down to just two things. And the two things are this. One is you're going to have to go and self-submit for a project. Or the other point is you're going to have to have representation for yourself. Representation being either an agent or a manager. And they will submit you for a movie on your behalf. So now, if you're new to this, you're probably wondering and thinking to yourself, okay, wait, what is the difference here? What is self-submitting? what is having representation. Self-submitting is simply what it sounds like. You are self-submitting yourself. You are submitting for a movie by yourself. Just you, no one else helping you. Whereas when you have representation, they are submitting on your behalf. They are submitting you for that movie for you. You're not having to do anything. They are submitting you for that project. So now you understand that. That's very simple there. You're probably asking this next question. Well, which one is more beneficial? Why would I choose self-submitting over having representation? Do I have to pay them? Is it costing me a lot of money? What is going on here? When it comes to having representation, if you have an agent or a manager, they do take a percentage of what you make when you book. You're not paying them if you don't book. They only take money from you when you book. They get a percentage of what you make because they are the ones who submitted you for the project. So rightfully so, they're going to be taking some of what you make from a particular project. And they take anywhere from about 10 to 20% depending on the project, depending on the representation that you have and what's been worked out of the contracts and all of that. But that's typically the amount that's going to be around within there. Whereas when you go and self-submit for a project, if you go and book that part and you have no representation at all, you get to keep everything you made from that self-submitted project. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's awesome. Won't I just do self-submissions then? Not quite. And it depends. Ultimately, our ultimate goal is to always have great representation for ourselves but some of you are in different spots in your life some of you are in a place where this over here having representation would not be a good thing for you if you want to go and be in movies whereas self submitting for projects might be a better avenue for you to pursue right now in this present moment in time so that's what I want to talk to you guys about getting representation is a huge move for yourself. I always suggest that if you're gonna go and get representation for yourself, you should only do it when you're absolutely ready and you have really decided for yourself, acting is what you wanna do. Then in that case, then you might go and pursue getting representation for yourself. But mind you, I said you have to be ready. It doesn't mean just being ready in your acting and your acting's awesome or you did great in your school play. It's not that, your acting has to be good. You have to be confident in your own acting abilities. There are a lot of actors out there who may be good, but they're not confident in their own abilities. You need to be confident confident in your acting abilities. Otherwise, if you're not confident and you just happen to get lucky and you get that representation for yourself, you're still gonna go out for a bunch of auditions and not book any of those auditions and then risk getting dropped from your agency because your acting isn't very good. So you have to have confidence in your acting. The other thing is you have to have confidence in yourself and you as a human being, and you have to be able to be sociable, meaning you have good people skills. Because when you're gonna get representation, an agent or a manager, you're gonna have to meet with them and you're gonna have to talk with them. And you wanna be a sociable person. You don't wanna be quiet or not say much or not let them know who you are because then they're not gonna to wanna to represent you. And first impressions are really important. So let's imagine this agency is a good agency and you got the opportunity to get in that room and speak with them. But then you screw it up and you blow it because you were nervous and you were shy and all these different things. That was a great opportunity that now you won't have access to in the future because they're gonna remember you and think even if a year goes by, two years go by, they're gonna think, oh, this is the actor who came in here and was super shy and unconfident and then they're gonna be the people who wanna represent us when we send them out for auditions? No way. I don't think I want them. You really want to go and seek representation when you absolutely feel ready and not just your acting, but also in yourself as a person. Now, let's say you don't feel ready. You don't feel confident enough yet to go and get representation for yourself. This is where you might go and do self-submissions for yourself because you do gain a few different things from this. It's easier for you to go and build a reel for yourself. Reels being you get different footage from yourself if you book projects and you can put them together. You do get to build your resume a little bit more if you book those parts. You get used to self-submitting for projects. You get used to the whole audition process for yourself, meaning, hey, if you're gonna do self-submissions for yourself, getting a camera, setting up lights, all of that, 
that you have to go and do when you're doing your auditions. Um, if you do any in-person auditions, again, it's a whole learning process that you do still get from that. And maybe you'll get lucky and an A or B level project does become available for you to submit for. It's very rare when you're self-submitting, but they can become available compared to, again, if you have a presentation, they get access to it all the time, A and B level projects. But self-submission does have its own place. Or maybe you don't have any representation near you. Maybe wherever you're living right now, maybe it's a different country, maybe you're somewhere in a rural area of the state where you're like, hey, I don't have agents or managers near me at all. So the only thing I have access to right now, because I can't force someone to represent me, the only thing I have access to right now is self-submission. So maybe that's the avenue you're going to go down for a little while until you do have access to be able to go and try and get uh, an agent or a manager for yourself. But a lot of this depends on the situation you're in, how you feel as a person. You really have to judge this for yourself because you know yourself better than anybody else. But these are really important points to realize because if you're wanting to go and be in a movie, whether it's a Netflix movie, Disney Plus movie, Amazon movie, Hulu movie, whatever it is, these are the two avenues to go in trying to be in a movie. Self-submission for projects or the big one, having representation for yourself. Now, if you're wondering about your acting abilities and how you can go and improve on those, you can always check out our 10 hour acting masterclass or 2.0 version. We always put it down in the description down below and also in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. Now, the resources that I wanna give you guys are two different videos that I have made in the past that will really help you guys out. One of them is how you can go and get an agent for yourself, how you can go and get representation. Check it out, it's a whole playlist that I made. There's a few different videos in there that you can go through and find the ones that work for you. Maybe you can check all of them out, but it's a whole playlist on how to go and get an agent for yourself. So go and check out that video. I'm also gonna put another video that I did before where I had auditioned for a Netflix project that my representation had got me, but I walked you through the entire process on what I did and everything. It's actually a two-part process. So in that first part, I show you guys the process that I went through, the whole audition process for this Netflix movie, but then also what I showed you guys the next thing in the part two video was how to use backstage and how you can go and try and self-submit for projects on your own. So there's a lot of learning that can be involved within those videos. So do check them out because those will be really helpful resources for all of you. Also leave down in the comment section below any comments that you have or any avenues or different things that you've done for yourself on getting representation or self-submitting for projects. Alrighty, see you guys next time. Bye guys.